Today we're going to cover exporting side-by-side -side video uh, with overlays in SoloStorm um, in case there's uh, occasions where you might want to export two different videos um, just for viewing uh, and sharing on YouTube. Uh, it's not something that uh, not everyone likes to do, but uh, so we thought we'd do an article just to show you how easy it is. There is a little a few things here and there that uh, might not be obvious uh, in the in the interface. So uh, let's get started. We obviously have SolarStorm here. You will want to have your camera available and powered on. And uh, in this case, I'm using a GoPro Hero uh, 4 camera. Um, so it's already powered on and the wireless is already turned on. My phone is already connected, in this case, to Wi-Fi on the camera. Um, so we need to make sure that that's uh, already, already done. Okay, so we'll go into analysis. We're going to load... Um, uh, video here uh, or a log here so i know that i haven't downloaded say this one okay and actually um, i do need to load two runs if we're going to do side by side so two runs there we go now make sure you do have the vi video widget turned on if you don't have it it's this little uh the tiles button at the top here and make sure you have videos uh checked um, what you see here is uh, onboard video, okay, that's showing, and you can tell by the lower title bar there that says front. Um, it'll show either front or back, which means the onboard camera. I, I use the front camera on my phone mounted in such a way that I have onboard video uh, for review, okay? And if we tap the little camera with the two arrows here, it lets me switch to the GoPro video. Now, I do have auto download set up within Solo Storm. So what happens is after my run, my Solo Storm will automatically download the low res version of the video from my GoPro. And as you see, it's mounted in a different position. Okay. Now, um, I'll just go through the basic export. So normally, you would be able to come in here, this uh, the, the three dots here, tap that and you could export video with overlay but you notice here it is grayed out and why that is is because i have not actually downloaded the full resolution video from the gopro we cannot do an export on the low res uh, file that is uh, automatically downloaded so now to make this more convenient if you so choose uh, in your camera setup you can set solostorm to automatically download the high res video uh, between runs or when your when your logger stops, not necessarily recommended because uh, a high res video does take longer to download, and if you're uh, if you don't have a lot of time between runs or sessions, uh, you might not want to be sitting there waiting for that high res video to download. So um, a better approach might be just to do the leave it on low res um, or no file, and um, and deal with the the high res download later when when you have time. So I'm going to go ahead and start that right here. So you see download from camera and it'll allow me to select which resolution it kind of knows that i've already have the low resolution so i'm going to hit download and it's going to reach out to the camera and retrieve the file Okay, so I mean, we've got both videos, uh, high resolution versions uh, downloaded. So we're going to go back into this menu here um, on the first one. And you'll notice now that the export video with overlay is now enabled. So we'll go ahead, tap that. And now we'll select the two videos that we want side by side. So main video, I want to do the GoPro that I had just downloaded there. And for the secondary video, this is the, your side by side. I'm going to select the next, that next run also of the GoPro. You'll notice here that the layout automatically is, is side by side. We just want to check that just to be sure. And um, I'm going to leave the rest of the options as they are. Um, if you went to sync distance, um, what it'll do is it'll use the primary video and um, kind of stretch and shrink the, um, the secondary video to um, sync them by, by distance, at least by calculated distance. Okay, your usual options as uh, in, in terms of resolution and your introduction options if you wanted to include a header. Um, so we'll turn that on, three seconds. We'll say here, run two. And um, 
3. All right. Uh, we'll just leave the rest as it is. Okay. Now I'll hit export, and it's queued for exporting. So you'll be able to see the status. You can exit Soulstorm if you want. You'll see the status in in your uh, notification tray there. And once it's uh, it's complete, you'll also get a notification. And we'll jump ahead to uh, we'll let this run, and we'll jump ahead to to that part. Okay. So once the export is complete, the notification will be in the system tray right here that shows uh, the overlay is complete. And once you have that, what you can do is go ahead and tap it and open in the video player of your choice. And there we have it, side-by-side uh, -side video exported. And a quick overview of this, um, you'll see that the times, the running times on both logs are different colored. One on the left is orange and the right is blue. And that corresponds with, let me get rid of this uh, menu here, that corresponds with the concentric uh, speedometer and you'll see um, the accelerometer as well. Unfortunately, for this particular event, I didn't have OBD2 data. Um, otherwise, you would have further crescentic uh, gauges where the color would correspond with the, uh, the video that's playing. OK, so um, that's pretty much it. Um, I will mention that uh, if you ex ex exported the video and you've cleared the system tray notification, you'll find that maybe it uh, is not the ob most obvious where that exported video is if you want to copy it off your device or share it on YouTube or wherever. Um, so I'm just going to touch on that really briefly. There is a help article online that will detail this as well. Um, it might be easier to follow just because it lists all the folders that you need to go to. I've actually set up a, a, a shortcut here for mine. And basically, it's under, um, depending where you've put it, uh, SD card or internal storage, go to Android data, com.petrol.datastorm.activity. It'll pick up here, files, petrel, and then videos. So this folder will actually include all the, f the video files, the raw files that you've imported from your camera, as well as your exports. All right. And what you can do uh, to make this a little bit easier is you go out to here and you get long press on videos and the three dots up here and oh sorry uh, and yes uh, add shortcut add shortcut and you can hold you can add it to the home screen of my files wherever wherever you like to do and that's uh, that's what how i created that shortcut on the home screen there so that's just a little bit of a shortcut for you all right well ho hopefully this video is helpful to you and uh, we'll see you next time